Well, summer is officially here, and this is a common sight in many areas. The lawns are drying up, dying back, turning brown, and it can be unsightly. It's either you go ahead and do what I'm going to share with you today, which is bring it back to life with a little bit of grass paint, or you're going to spend a lot of money and time watering the lawn, putting fertilizers in there to try to get the same effect. Now, I actually started this process last year, and I wanted to cycle through uh, a year to see how it went before I introduced this to you guys. But this is the product that I use. This is called Lawn Lift. It's non-toxic. Uh, this is safe for pets and kids. Once it's dry, it only takes 60 minutes to dry. And all you need is a pump sprayer to apply it. So I'd recommend dedicating a pump sprayer just for a project like this, as that paint will stain the different parts of the pump sprayer. And a little side tip for you before you get started would be to go ahead and remove the stem that sucks the water up through the wand because a lot of the models of pump sprayers will have a little debris filter at the end of that little stem. And if you just remove that, that's going to make things a lot easier as they have a tendency to clog up with the thicker paint. You can see I already removed this one. This is what they'll often look like. They usually just pop right off. And if you're going to use it for other tasks, you can go ahead and replace it later. But a nice large opening on that stem makes everything run real smooth. Now you want to shake the paint up really good before you add it into your vessel. Now for a thicker spray, which is what I like to go with, you want to do one part paint to six parts water. But you can spread it out all the way to one part paint to ten parts water. So it's really up to you and your own preference. I found that doing a thicker solution gives me the results that I desire. A longer lasting application, I can get anywhere from two to three months without having to do any type of maintenance on the lawn if I time this correctly in the summer where I am not going to be having to cut back the lawn anymore. Uh, just one application will get me through the majority of the summer. Then I'll do another touch-up application a little later as we head into fall. So I'm just going to eyeball this out. As you can see, I'm just kind of visually looking at six different parts on this vessel. Although this is a one gallon sprayer, it'll actually hold one and a quarter gallon if you go past the top mark. You do want to leave some airspace in there so you can pump in some air to pressurize the tank, but you don't need to leave that much of a gap. You can see here just how dark green the paint is. You're going to want to wear gloves throughout this entire process and just be very careful not to get this paint anywhere else. You don't want to spill it. It will stain. Now it is easy to clean and wash away immediately if you get it with some water. This also goes for when you spray outside, especially if you've got borders, sidewalks, uh, landscape rocks, that sort of thing. You don't want to get any overspray on any of that, and so it's nice to have a hose handy. Just in case you do go over a little bit, you can quickly clean it up. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some scrubbing later on. And I found using a warm to hot water when mixing this together really works best. And after I filled it up, you see there's some foam bubbles there. The water level is actually quite lower, so I'm going to allow this just a little bit of time for that foam to dissipate, and then I'm going to add some more water in. You see how dark green that is in there. Add a bit more water. Once again, let the foam go down, and we'll just put in the pump now. And we're ready to rock. So it's important before you get started spraying the lawn that you first mow it to your desired length and then go ahead and rake away any debris, leaves, dead grass. You don't want to be painting any of that. You want to get right down to the lawn that you have left. So as you can see, I've got all the above that I'm taking out of here. Make everything nice and tidy. And now the last look at what the lawn looks like before. You're going to see the dramatic change happen in no time at all. Now I like to work my way from the border in, especially seeing as I got the brick border around the lawn. Uh, spraying from the outside in helps me to avoid getting any overspray on the bricks. It's also a great idea to do this on a nice sunny day where it's going to dry. You don't want it to be a rainy day, obviously. And you really don't want too much wind either. That can make it a hassle. Now the directions on the paint say to spray 2 to 3 inches away from the surface. I found I can go anywhere from 5 to 8 inches away and I get a nice covering. So it's up to you to figure out exactly what works best for you. But you can adjust the spray on these pump sprayers just by twisting the end nozzle. And that's going to give you a different spray pattern. So if it's too direct and you're so close as 2 to 3 inches, it's really not going to give you a good spread. So just dial it in and you'll find your rhythm. And this is actually kind of fun to tell you the truth.
Now this is a good point to just go ahead and freeze the video and just show you the difference right away. You can see how just realistic and healthy the lawn looks on the right. Like I said, I did my first application of this last year. I just wanted to give it time so that I could experiment and make sure that this really does work well before uh, suggesting it to anybody else. It saves me time as I'm not having to water, fertilize, and when you do those things, the grass and the weeds will start popping up and you've got to tend to that. I don't have to do any of that. And the results that I got last year were amazing because I did no watering for several months. And once the rains came in the following winter, the lawn took back off. It was extremely healthy and thick. So I didn't lose any of my lawn without watering for that long period. And here is the end result. So I ended up using about a half a gallon of this paint to cover approximately 475 square foot lawn space. And that is with a thicker paint solution. You could spread this out and double that, even possibly triple that. So just keep that in mind. Once again, I'm really happy with this product. It's great for curb appeal. It just makes everything look so much nicer. And I know some of you guys out there watching this are thinking, what the heck is this guy doing painting his lawn? Well, I thought it was pretty bizarre when I first heard of it too. But once I gave it a try, saw the results and figured all the time, money, and resources I was saving, I was sold on this. So this is something I'm planning on continually doing into the future as part of my lawn care maintenance program. Now, different brands are made with different ingredients, but generally, from what I understand, the ingredients are mostly natural. They come from decayed plants. They come from a product called pulverized kaolin, which is a soft stone. And there's probably some other things in there, but non-toxic. And this could be helpful for other applications. Maybe you're just doing a touch-up. You've got a spot in the lawn. You can get smaller bottles of this stuff. But this is commonly used on turfs of sports fields or golf courses, that sort of thing. So anyway, if you're interested on learning more about this product, I'll drop a link below this video in the description box so you can go check that out. And one last thing is that when you're finished with this job, it's really important that you completely wash the pump sprayer out and all the different parts. You don't want to leave any gunk in there, otherwise it's not going to work for you efficiently next time. But this is easy enough to do. Just rinse it out. Again, I wouldn't worry much about any of the paint staining any of these parts. It's not going to harm it at all be more work than it's worth I think to try to get it sparkling clean but after you get all the different parts rinsed out go ahead and fill up the tank and spray the water out through the nozzle as well just to help blow out any leftover paint that may be in there and so with that I want to thank you all for watching hope you're having a great day and a wonderful summer and until next time this is Dan from plantabundance.com take care everybody I'll be talking to you again soon